Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. Today in this video, we'll be looking at how to instantly get notification whenever something goes wrong in our application. In order to get notification, we'll be using Slack. So you have to install Slack in your mobile or in your desktop. So first of all, just install the Slack. I have already installed the Slack and it's pretty easy to do it. So just go, just search on the Google Slack and you can go in this Slack website and you can just go at the bottom and just click on try for free and you can easily download that and don't worry you don't have to pay anything because it's kind of unlimited so it has certain kind of limitation that how many messages that you can send but after that limit has crossed the old messages will be deleted and you don't have to pay anything okay now i hope that you have installed the slack then now what we need to do is we need to create workspaces in the slack so i have already opened slack here so now here in this top left corner just click on this add button and just add a workspace okay we'll be creating a workspace and a channel and where we'll be pushing notifications whenever something goes wrong in our application and we'll get instant notification so let me click on here and let me create a new workspace here and it will take me to the browser and now i have to enter my email now i'll hit on continue and now it will send me a six digit code in my gmail and let me check that so here is the six digit pin and it is one five seven three five seven one five seven three five seven now it will automatically check the code and it will verify if it is correct okay now it is launching the slack application now here it is asking me to open the app directly so i'll choose that so now in the here the app it will reload and new workspace will be loaded so here if i show you the new one this is the slack yeah the currently that we have created is this one now we can give it a name the name of this will be let's say error error reporting and now it is asking us what is your team working on let's say just test for now and now it is asking us to add anybody our teammate so if you have any members in your teammates then just you can add them otherwise you can skip this step okay now it will automatically create that channel for you this test one also we need a channel so we have created a workspace now we need a channel to send a notification so here are a list of channels so now we can create our own private channel and we can send it there so let's say add channel and create a new channel and let me say error error reporting and we can just give it underscore here and we'll make it private okay so now we have successfully created the channel and we will add the people if we want in the future so now we have created successfully the channel now let's go to the browser and let me close this and now source for slack webhook let me increase the font size a little bit and so this is the first link this api incoming webhooks so just click on this and if you are not logged in in the browser then it will ask you to log in and you can automatically log in so after you click on this create your slack app so here now you have to create a slack app so you might be thinking that there is a lot of things that we need to do but just it's a uh, simple steps so if you just complete these steps and you don't need to worry about this anymore in the future so first of all we'll create a slack app okay now it will ask me two options from scratch or from an manifest so i'll just click on from scratch and what is the name of the app we can give any name okay let's say either reporting okay whatever name you'd like to give you can give that name okay and now it is asking us to select our workspace so whatever workspace that we have created here this one error reporting we have to select that so here error reporting and now create the app okay now we have successfully created the app so in here we can do a lot of things but we are just trying to send the error notification whenever something goes wrong in our app so for that we'll just look into this incoming webhooks and now we have to activate this first now after activating it will just show us this that webhook urls for a workspace and currently there are no webhook urls we have to create one so just click on this one and now we have to select the channel that we have created so we have created this private channel this error reporting here and it will show up here okay now you can see it is showing up here we have to just select it and just allow so after it is done it will provide us with the webhook url here 
so just to show you and demo if i just copy this code and if i go here in the terminal and paste it here now let's see what happens so now you can see here we are getting this notification here so this is the hello world and we have passed this hello world text over here now you may think that we have to write all this call command and do something no you don't have to do this there is something in laravel that automatically handles all of this for us so till now what we have done we have created an account in the slack then we have created a workspace then we have created a channel in that workspace and we have come in a browser and created an app for the slack webhook then we came into this incoming webhooks and we just created a new webhook url so that's it so now let me copy this webhook url now if you look here in the laravel i have already opened a project here and i have also opened it here so this is the project so whenever we visit this dashboard controller index page it is just showing this page okay so don't worry what I, what these data are so they are just dummy data now if we look here in the config slash logging now if you see here the default one is stack and if you have don't know about logging in laravel then you can watch my video tutorial i'll be leaving the link just below that like button and now here if you go down here there is a channels list yeah so in the channel list we can also see here slack and it requires log slack webhook url so just copy this and go to the env file and just paste it here and whatever url that we have copied from here so this one we'll just paste it here now if we see here in the slack so if the level of the logging is critical then only it will log and this log level and and we can override this by using this log level in dot env if we see here dot in the dot env file i think it is already overwritten so if it is debug then it will log it to the slack but the channel should be slack so now let's see how to send a notification to the slack using this laravel application so if i go here in the dashboard controller so i can just say here log channel and slack and we can just say info like this okay hello world from laravel app and this log is imported here you can see here now if i come here and refresh the page it will go through this okay it will execute this code now if i refresh here now you can see here i am getting this notification so hello world from laravel app so i am getting this message so now we have successfully sent a message from our laravel application to our slack app now let's see how to send message to the slack whenever something goes wrong in our application so let me just go to this handler which is inside app exception and handler okay so whenever something goes wrong or whenever some exception is thrown in our application it will go through this method okay it will go through this method and laravel will render that in the browser let me show you something first let me throw new exception the error message now if i do it like this and if i refresh here you can see here it is throwing the error now if i go here in the code and come here and just do dd here and let's say one two three like this okay and if i come here in the browser and refresh the page now you can see here i am getting that one two three so just before rendering that error page laravel will execute this code now what we can do is just copy sorry just copy this one and paste it here okay and let me import it here and now this e will get the error object or the exception object so what we can do is we can just say error message like this and you can see here there is uh, nothing logging in this our index yeah so now if we go here in the browser and refresh the page now you can see here before the error appears in our website it is sent to the slack and the slack is showing this message to us now if i go here and we'll just say here instead of info we'll say error and also we want to show in which file that error occurred in which line number that kind of thing also we want to show so what we can do here is let's say here message yeah and we can pass an array over here now we can say here let's say file 
and we can say e file and we can say line number here e line and also we can get the status code okay guys now we have done this okay now in the dashboard controller everything is same now if i go here in the browser and just refresh the page here now now let's see what we'll get in the notification so the error message is whatever message we have sent from here yeah that is coming from this one and we are also getting file line and code and if you see here in the slack so you can see here file line and code so we are getting file line and code everything but if you see here in this laravel.log file we are getting everything this track trace everything if you also want to see all of this then what we can do is just go in the code here in the handler and we'll just cut it from here and we'll say here e get trace it will get the array of everything that we, we have seen here okay now let's see what we'll get here in the slack okay now if i refresh here and now if you see here in the slack so you can see here guys we are getting everything all the track trace so you can see here we are getting uh, up to how many lines so we are getting here 48 lines of error codes every stack trace so now let's say we don't want all of this track trace also you can see here so we know that the error has occurred in dashboard controller but it is not giving us the line number so this line number is of this routing controller okay not of this dashboard controller so we also want the message the file and line number where the error has occurred so for that we need to do it like this so this is so let's say error log and in the array we will just do it like this so this is that we have done just a little bit before okay inside our array there will be another array and we'll just concat this and this so let's use laravel collection for that collect and we'll just concat it and we'll convert it into array and we'll say here error log and let us go to the bottom of the page come here and now refresh the page now if you see here now we are getting this dashboard controller and line number 13 and if we go here in the dashboard controller and we can see here the error is in line number 13 yeah and also we are getting this a lot of uh, stack trace yeah so the, there are 49 so we don't want all of them let's say we only want up to top five so what we can do is here get trace we can also add it to a collection and we can say here take five okay like this and now if you go in the browser and refresh the page and you can see here guys the message and we are only getting top five from the track test and this one that we have done it ourselves so this one is this one and five from the track test so now let me show you that without throwing an exception okay guys so here let me remove this and let's say in anywhere in our code we have done something wrong let's say data users and let's say apple and let's say ppl apple equals like this so we have accessed an apple from this users okay so let's say there is something data here and we are accessing it like this and now if we go here and let's say some of the user visit our website and they ran into an error like this now we have already got the message and you can see here we are getting the message undefined indexed apple and it, it is here if you see here in the track trace here it is in the dashboard controller line number 19 and if we go here in the dashboard controller line number 19 exactly we can see the error message and will be automatically get notified so we don't have to just wait for feedback from the user yeah we'll automatically know what has gone wrong in our application and we can automatically fix that so guys in this way you can automatically send or know 
what has gone wrong in your application. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.